These are the workouts I do to crush the ACFT, and you can too. Do this whole routine once a week, in addition to your regular PT and regular workouts, but make sure you rest. So first, we have the three rep max deadlift, MDL. Start with 135, get warmed up. Do this for 10 repetitions. Then slowly increase the weight, 185. Do it for five to eight to 10 repetitions. Take a rest and move up. Move up as you can. Today, I'm gonna go all the way up to 360, 365 but I'm showing you the correct form, the repetitions, how to do it, slowly increasing your weight as you can. Remember to tailor your workout to yourself. Don't worry about the weight yet. Get the form right, work on your grip, work on where you are with your PT test standards, but do the work. Do 135, then move up to 185, move up to 225, 315, then eventually 360. Whatever you can do, Keep loading the weight on, keep practicing good form, and get in lots of repetitions at least once a week. Now here are some workouts to improve your deadlift. We're gonna start with lunges, working on your balance, working on your grip, working on your legs, your lower back. That's gonna help you perform the deadlift better. But a lot of people struggle with their grip. So these two workouts, curls, up and down, Working on your grip, working on your forearm strength is gonna help you get that deadlift up when it gets heavy. The standing power throw. Today, we're gonna to take a medicine ball. We're gonna go heavier than the ball you're gonna use. So pick a 10 pound, 12 pound, even a 15. When you do this, practice the exact form you're gonna use. You don't have to throw it. You're working on your auxiliary muscles, all the muscles involved in this. And don't forget, you can get a jump in there. Just don't cross the line. Get a bunch of repetitions, as many as you can. But there's a lot of other workouts that can help you improve this as well. Kettlebells are my favorite for this. It gives you the exact motion. You're using your shoulders. You can get your stance different. You can really focus on what you use to build your strength for this workout. As I swing, I'm going all the way up, mimicking the exact motion, working on the muscles involved. Bend your legs, get your legs involved, get your core involved, and get it all the way up. But then I'm gonna stand nice and straight and work on just shoulders, because this, at the end of the throw, is where people need to get it high and far. Use the kettlebell, bring it up, nice and controlled. Legs are stronger, so let's get them shoulders really strong so we can perform this, get the maximum throw, get the best throw for you, get the work in. I love the kettlebells. Dumbbell pullovers. This is another way to mimic the same motion, but in a different way, incorporating the lats, the shoulders, the core, same motion as I go down, as I'm going up. So this is the opposite, going in reverse of the throw, but building up all the muscles you need to use when you're doing your standing power throw. Another variation to work on increasing your distance, increasing your strength, bringing up all those muscles involved. Hand release push-ups. I'm going slow to exaggerate and demonstrate this movement and then into my favorite workout. All right, this is my absolute favorite push-up routine. We're gonna start with close grip and we're gonna perform 20 repetitions. Close grip, doesn't have to be diamonds, just close. Take a rest. Take 30 seconds to a minute and then do regular push up. Straight down. We're going to also perform 20 repetitions here. Regular push ups down and up, full extension. Take another 20, 30 second rest and then do a wide grip. Straight down. 20 repetitions here as well. Then again, take a 30 second to one minute break, do a staggered grip. Now we're getting into the shoulders and triceps. When you start to get fatigued, you're gonna to start to kind of get in a little movements, changing your grips, how you're gonna push up, maybe a little in, maybe a little out. And this is what's gonna help you be able to handle that fatigue in your chest, triceps, and shoulders. 20 repetitions, stagger grip as well. You're gonna finish at 100. 
The sprint drag carry is when a lot of people get fatigued. It might seem simple, but the dumbbell walk forward and backwards is gonna help you when you get fatigued. You gotta work on your grip, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves, and keeping your balance. Because when you sprint after the fatigue of the other workouts, your quads get real shaky. And I've seen a lot of that happen during the competitions. But if you condition your legs with walking forward and backwards with weight, you will be more conditioned. Do this as many times as you can. Another simple one is backpedaling with the bands, mimicking the same workout, getting more work for your quads and hamstrings. The leg tuck. This seems to be very difficult for everybody and I don't necessarily do the leg tuck in my workout, but I do a lot of pull-ups, a lot of hanging stuff. So right now I'm just hanging, working on my grip because that fails a lot of people, working on getting comfortable in that position, doing the pull-up, which is gonna work on your shoulders, your arms, your grip, your back, all the things you're gonna need to perform this really well. Most gyms have good core machines. Just try and find one that mimics the same workout. Hands above the head, working on your core, bringing your knees to your elbows, do 20 repetitions, as many sets as you can. This workout is probably the best overall. You're really spread out just like the leg tuck. Bring your legs down, bring them up, work on your lower abs, your quads. You're gonna be fatigued, so let's get that core workout in. Get 10, 15, 20 reps, as many as you can. For the run, start with just one mile. Try and get around eight minute per mile pace. This is gonna give you some wiggle room. Then increase it to two miles, then increase it to three miles. Do that like every other day. I want you to run a little bit farther than you're gonna to have to because once you're fatigued from the workout, but you already know in your mind you've gone farther, you will do better in that workout. Just keep trying to get comfortable, improving your distance while also improving your speed. Set the treadmill at what you need to pass and get comfortable at one mile, get comfortable at two miles, and get comfortable at three miles at what the speed is that you have to pass at. Do this whole routine once a week in addition to your regular PT and regular workouts, but make sure you rest.